Thank you for joining us again for Acuity Brands Bright Ideas on Industrial Sage. Today we want to discuss a trend in the lighting industry. Many of you may notice products on the shelves at your local home center stores and electrical distributors with the option to change color temperatures and brightness with a switch. I'm joined today by Andrew Bonovic, Director of Indoor Ambient Lighting, and Brad Dobbs, Director of Indoor Residential Lighting at Acuity Brands. Let's start with the basics. Andrew, what is switchable technology? Thank you, Catherine. At its roots, switchable technology is about creating a single product that can be built and shipped from a factory, but applied to a wide range of applications out in the field. So by using advanced components, LEDs, drivers, and switches, we're able to create a single SKU that can then meet a wide range of performance specifications once it gets out into the world and can be fine-tuned. Now, these advanced components aren't free, but their value is huge for all of the players in, in the value chain. There are three main types of switchable product that we've seen out in the market today. The first is switchable lumens. So basically, this allows you to adjust the lumen level of the fixture based on the application or maybe the mounting height. Okay. The second is color switching. So this is going to allow you to change the color temperature from a warmer to a cooler color depending on the setting or maybe the activity that the room is being used for. And finally, there's the combination of the two. Certain fixtures can utilize both color and lumen switching and really make a, a big impact. So a lot of times we can reduce up to five to ten SKUs with a single one. Wow, that seems like it has a huge benefit for the electrical distributor. Brad, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Now, look, at first glance, there are some huge benefits for the, for the distributor. Mm -hmm. Two of their largest costs are the space that's required to keep inventory, but also the cost of the inventory itself. So um, more often than not, if a distributor decides to replace their inventory with, from static to switchable, they can really maintain their service levels, but also reduce the inventory by 30 to 50%. And not only are they gonna reduce their inventory levels, but they're also gonna be selecting one SKU from their inventory versus five or 10, which is really gonna help um, their, their inventory turns drastically. And that's really gonna help their cash flow as well. And it's also gonna eliminate stale inventory. Right. So if that distributor has brought in in the past, a pallet of 3,000 or 5,000 K inventory and it sat there, that's still inventory for them. This is really going to reduce that or completely eliminate it altogether. Right, money just sitting on the shelves at exactly. that point. So reducing inventory complexities, great benefit, what else? So if you dig a, a layer or two deeper from what Brad just talked about, you can really find some, some second and third order benefits both to the distributor and the contractor. So first, uh, if I want to get, get into a quick example, Let's say a contractor comes into your distributor uh, and he needs 60 panels and he needs them today for one of a hundred reasons. Many reasons right? could happen. <laughs> Many reasons. Uh, and you think to yourself, okay, I normally keep about 200 panels in stock. Should be good to go, no problem. You hop on the computer, you start looking up what inventory you have. And you first thing you realize is, ooh, half of those are a warm color temperature and half of those are a cool color temperature. So I really don't have 200 of anything. I've got 100 of, of two different fixtures. Okay, my contractor only needs 60, so I should be good to go. Uh, you dig a layer deeper and realize that half of those are a high lumen package and half of those are a low lumen package. So you really don't have 60 of anything. You've got 50 of four different configurations. So you've got to tell that contractor no. Um, he came to you, came into your store, um, wanted your business, and, and even though you keep 200 panels in stock, you didn't have what they needed. If you had stocked switchable instead, not only could you have said yes to that 60-piece order, but you could have said yes to two more 60-piece orders that same day, uh, all while reducing your risk of, of stale or, or obsolete inventory. Right. Um, we're, we're also seeing a big reduction in returns that come back to a distributor's location or a home center location. Uh, the majority of returns that we see are from misidentified color temperatures or misspecified lumen packages. With switchable product, both of those problems are taken care of in the field by the contractor. And so while they may not have been caused by the distributor, they oftentimes have to spend time and money fixing them. So they have to find a place to put the pallet that was returned. They've got to fill out the paperwork to send it back to a manufacturer or repackage it and resell it later. 
Uh, so while it isn't their fault, they get stuck paying for a lot of it. And so switchable technology really has a chance to eliminate a large portion of those returns. Right. Harmless mistakes make, you know, inventory headaches or returns headaches for everyone involved. And uh, so this will be fewer returns, fewer headaches. And uh, those are just for the distributor. You mentioned the electrical contractor. What do they think about this technology? Well, I think uh, initially they were a little bit skeptical of switchable technology. But uh, the more they used it, the more they see the, the benefits of it. And what historically has happened is when they go out to the job site, they do an initial job site inspection. So what they're going to do is they're going to count the number of fixtures there. They're going to look and see what color temperature is needed, what lumen output is needed to replace, whether it's existing fluorescent or whatever technology is out there. They go out and do that, and that's a pretty time-consuming process. Now, they, they uh, sometimes they have relied on the building owner mm -hmm. to provide that level of data, and it's not always good data. And they don't realize that until actually the fixtures are, are delivered to the job site. Mm -hmm. And even worse, when they're installed and then they turn the power on, they say, wow, that's the wrong color temperature, or that's the wrong dim level or brightness level. You know, that becomes a very big headache for Take that Take the wind that out of your sails when you see that. No kidding. So more often than not, with switchable technology, it can fully eliminate that first site visit to do that inspection, okay? So if something were to happen and that uh, contractor realizes there is an issue, they can go up there and make that quick adjustment via the switch to make that product a different color temperature or different uh, light output, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's great because they already have their ladders on site, they have their forklifts, and that's the part that can be very expensive, is having to go back to the job site, and then if they didn't have that flexibility, they may have to rip the fixtures completely out of the ceiling, which can be very, very costly. Mm -hmm. So overall, from a contractor standpoint, it's gonna save them time and money, not having to go back to the site, and not having to go back to that distributor to get new product. So it really sounds like the contractor's process is simpler, much more repeatable. I think you really hit the nail on the head when you say simple. Uh, all of our processes are more complex than we would like them to be. So any simplicity that we can bring back is really, really nice to have. And switchable technology really helps us with that. So a contractor is going to have fewer trips to the job site ahead of time. They're going to spend less time on the job site while they're installing the fixtures because they're not going to have five different fixture types to pull from two that go over here and five that go over here. They're going to have one pallet that they're working from and just adjusting them as they go. They're also going to have fewer go backs to the job site and especially fewer go backs where they've got to rent a scissor lift or a forklift for a second time. That's really painful. And what these fewer go backs are going to allow the contractor to do is schedule much more accurately. So not only are they going to save time on customer A who they're working with on Monday, but they're gonna be able to give an accurate date to customer B on Wednesday and customer C on Friday because they know they're not gonna to have to go back to the job site multiple times. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, this is gonna allow a contractor to make their customers really happy, fine tuning their light fixtures for the exact application and getting it done on time when they, they scheduled the appointment. So that's great for them. You know, we're also seeing some contractors keeping a handful of these units on their truck and it allows them to say yes to the customer the first day they meet them. So really it's all about delighting their customer and switchable technology plays a big role in doing that. Well, thank you both for joining us today and diving into this technology. It sounds like we're gonna see a lot more of it on the market very soon. Please join us for our next episode where we ask what is high performance lighting?